A wife who's thankful that her husband is alive speaks out after shots are fired at the tree trimming crew that he was a part of in Yancey County. News 13's Kimberly King joins us live at the courthouse in Burnsville. And Kim, you've investigated the suspect, Lucas Murphy's criminal past. Patrick, sheriff's investigators here in Yancey and in Mitchell County are very familiar with Lucas Murphy. He now faces nine felony counts. Try not to be angry. This is 31 year old Shelby Teague. We could have lost a bunch of good men yesterday. Shelby's husband, 32 year old Brandon Teague, seen here with his three children, was part of the tree trimming crew subcontracted by Duke Power. Court records show Lucas Murphy shot at. What did he hear? What did he tell you? They were working and it's normal to hear gunshots every now and then in the woods, but just something about the pattern. We went into the courthouse and investigated Lucas Murphy's criminal record. These the latest charges, nine felony counts detailing that Murphy assaulted five crew members with a long rifle with intent to kill. Shelby says one crew member shot in the face, another she says in the neck. I couldn't imagine the thought of leaving your children behind. They are okay. They are still in critical condition. His convictions on misdemeanors carry little to no jail time and date back to 2013 and include resisting officers, violating a protective order, driving while intoxicated, and in 2021, assault with a deadly weapon. An ungodly amount of records. Shelby angry Murphy wasn't in jail for previous charges, but News 13 has learned the most serious case where he went to trial involved a charge that he shot and tried to kill his brother that resulted in the jury finding him guilty of a lesser charge. A law enforcement source who spoke on the condition of anonymity said Murphy's brother refused to cooperate and minimize what happened, leaving the jury to find him only guilty of assault. She'll be thankful Murphy didn't shoot her husband as she focuses on crew members shot. But to have somebody crazy running through the woods is not a, a risk that you would think about. Tonight, Murphy is in custody and the SBI is leading this ongoing investigation. Reporting live outside the Yancey County Courthouse, Kimberly King, News 13.